What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode here of my Mariners YouTube franchise. My name is West Coast 22. I appreciate you watching. If you watched the last episode, you know that we added a bunch of A prospects to our team. We added three, which gives us a total three, six, if I can count correctly, nine, 12, 14 A potential guys on our team now. I mean, Kyle Lewis is 25, Shedlong's 25, and JP's 26. Other than that, everyone else is young with high, high potential. So we are very, very excited to build this team through A poten uh, potentials and see this team going somewhere. Because right now, wah, wah, we're 24 and a half back of the Angels. I mean, that's just not good, right? That's not good. So the first couple of seasons are going to be a wash. We know that. We're just trying to get better. Uh, this episode is just going to be the rest of the year. So if you look, it is the trade deadline. It's the 31st. We have the full month of uh, July and August. If I'm looking to the wrong teams, that'd be great. Uh, August, uh, September. Uh, so this episode is merely just going to be finish the season, take a peek. We're not going to promote anybody this year, I don't think. Um, there's no reason to come September 1st. We'll bring up a couple people. Um, but yeah, I just don't see it being a big one. So this episode might be pretty quick because I'm not going to do this. And then an off season, I feel like the off season needs to be one full episode because it's going to be a lot of stuff. Cause we do everything. We don't leave anything up to, to the, uh, to the auto. So that's going to be a huge, um, episode in itself. So a quick uh whoops a quick look through at our lineup now that kyle seager's gone we have thr thrust thrust in sam haggerty to play um a, a little bit of a step down but he's 26 and he's b potential so maybe we can get him up in the 80s if you look at at, at, at his at him getting better yes he's a defense speed guy but hey man i'll take the plus ones the plus four the plus twos offensively yo i'll take that all day long so martin this is bad it, 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 this lineup is so bad but it's still better than the mariners real lineup you know how sad that is it's really freaking sad this this is this is more like the mariners real lineup 161 218 200 173 that is the mariners real lineup i love the mariners they're my team they're my squad but yo sometimes you got to be real right Sometimes you got to be real. So the rest of this episode, like I said, is just going to be playing it out. I have too many people, I guess. Okay. I suppose we go take care of that. Who who do we have just too many of? We have a lot of relievers. Hmm. Do we have any just old garbage relievers? <laughs> yeah. Bye, bro. Release. I got to pay him. I don't care. I don't care. I will move him up. Yakabonis just because. Okay. No more yelling at us, game. No more yelling at us. Just let me lose, please. Oh, my. Oh, it's the Rainiers. Who cares? Okay. So we lost two or three. Now we go to Tampa Bay, who's hovering right around 500. Uh, you know, we're swept there. That's cool, too. They're not hovering around 500 anymore. The Yankees, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Rainiers have too many people. Good God. So this is what I don't leave to the computer because I don't like to. I like to have all control of exactly what I'm doing. Um, dude, what's up with AAA? Who do they have too much of? Is it the, the bench? No, it's pitching. It's pitching... Yeah, it's pitching. Holy hell. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Triple A's got five outfielders. Okay, let's go do that. Actually, Shenton can go down. But now double A has too much. This is like real life. It's really hard. Um, no, 
what the hell is this double I have too much of? Six starters, six relievers. That's fine. Ooh, this. This, this, this. We'll actually put them down all the way to Class A. From AAA to Class A, a uh, sorry about your luck, buddy. Sorry about your luck, bro. But down you go. Watch us as the big club just keep losing. Oh, we're so bad. We're 0 and 8 for the month of or the month of August so far. Oh, this team is brutal. Hey, we got a win. Holy shit. So the so the game felt bad for us, so they let us uh sweep the Blue Jays. Hey, sorry, Goon. I apologize for that. But we'll take the four straight. The goal, the goal is 63 wins. Just try not to lose 100. My odds, my odds on that are pretty low. But we're going to do the best we can here and try and play spoiler. We take two or three from the Astros, so I'll take that. McGill broke his arm, so that's pretty freaking sweet. So that's pretty sweet. All right, four with KC, two with Houston to end the month. Let's just roll through this. We go three and three. 50 and 83, we're right on the cusp. We're right on the cusp. As we go into September, let's go take a quick peek again. Good Lord. Click. Oh, my gosh. Click the right button, West. Goodness. 16 bombs from Dom T. Williams, though. Yo, how can you not take that? Goodness. Okay. I mean, oh, sure. J.P. Crawford not hitting well. Kyle Lewis, 238. That's brutal. Mitchie Hanagoat, Ty France is doing pretty well. Haggerty has done worse since we promoted him. That's what we get, I suppose. And the rest of the team is just hot garbage. Our pitching rotation, we know Marco. Oh, yeah, we got rid of uh, James Paxton, too. Remember, if you watched the last episode, James Paxton's gone because we were probably not going to re-sign him being 33 next year. He's going to start to deteriorate. So Marco's really our only decent pitcher. Kikuchi is probably gone as well. We did trade him. Um, we'll see what we could potentially re-sign him for. I probably would much rather bring up a guy from AAA for next year, depending on what their overall is and how they're progressing. I don't want to stunt any growth, which in this game and franchise happens very, very easily. You bring someone up too fast, they'll do poor. They'll start losing attribute points. So you really have to keep an eye you can't just bring someone up early and think he'll get over it. If he's losing attribute points, he's going to continue to perform bad. He's never going to get to his potential. So you really have to pay attention to your prospects and how they are doing. Holy Chris Flexen is bad. Um, do I really want to switch these two just to see? All right, that's what we're going to do. Chris Flexen is so bad with his almost two whip that we're going to give Eric Swanson a chance here. We brought him up midseason. Uh, let's put him into the five slot and see how he does starting i mean 2.34 era 1.13 and 34 and two-thirds i mean it's pretty solid our bullpen these three are pretty bad kenyon munoz and jt are bad but really serviceable graveman's two whip is baffling ken giles really solid year and second riders surprisingly doing well as well why is Giles not our closer, though? That's that's my question. That's my question. That's not a freaking thing. See? The CPU's always messing with us, man. That's why I don't trust them. That's why I don't trust them. The Mariners have... Oh, I need... Oh, my gosh. Okay. So we need to go add two players to our roster here. We need to add two players... Oh, what do we need? I would like, well, first off, who who in AAA deserves to come up? Because I'm not trying to bring up somebody and just have them get rocked. So who deserves to come up and try to do something? I mean, he's 70 for sure, but he's not going to hit well. Reinheimer's probably not going to hit well either. I'm really not wanting to bring up Gilbert or Hancock right now. Because I don't want to stunt them. Kalnick's always interesting, but he is not doing well offensively. Look at that. He's losing lefty versus lefty because he's not performing well. So that's a little scary that he's dropping a lefty on lefty. Backup catcher. Dude, no one is just killing it right now. No one is killing it. I, I don't like this. 
I'm not a huge fan. Maybe I just bring out some some shitters because I'm not worried about them stunting their growth. That's probably what I'm going to do. The season's lost. I'm not trying to bring up some guys. So we're going to bring up some crappers here. So we're going to bring up Aaron. Oh, does he have options? One of three. Seawald. All right, let's bring up Seawald, but we're going to put him in the bullpen. He's not in the 40-man, is he? You mother. All right, so let's bring up Fletcher then. It's okay. He is on the 40-man, so that makes it a lot easier. So that's a pitcher. Now I would like to do probably Braden Bishop. Probably Braden Bishop because he, he's he's a speed defense guy. He has a noodle arm, but he can't hit, so I'm not going to put him in a lineup or anything, but it's just going to be something. So we'll bring up Braden Bishop. So we brought up a hypothetically a starter, and we brought up a – outfielder yes yes okay so we need to go to double a and do the exact same thing uh we're gonna leave quinn alone Juan then let's bring him up because again who cares who cares and then same thing we'll bring up williamson to double a let him have a couple starts and jack larson to double a he can have a couple starts um we'll bring up deloach to triple a just so we have the active they can do the lineups i really don't care so we're just gonna keep going it's gonna say they don't have lineups don't care auto fix all right so we brought up some guys again i'm not looking to play him i'm not looking to holy what the hell just happened I mean, Arizona's really bad, too. 54 and 84 after these three. But how did we just score 40 runs in three games? Do we... Did the did the simulation remember what team this is? Did it struggle there for a quick second? Holy Lord. 12 hits. Lewis... Uh, Kalu goes bomb. Swanson? Okay. I put Swanson in. He only has three hits. Granted, it's Arizona, but don't uh, just let me have this, okay? Just let me be. Kyle Lewis with another home run. That's back-to-back -back games. Dom T, Jose Marmo, and Dylan Moore all go deep. Goodness. Why can't we always hit like this, bro? Jeez. And then 18-4. to four. Goodness. Player of the week, Kyle. Oh, my God. God, nobody look at how many times Hanager struck out. Nobody look at that. It's okay. Just let it go. You didn't see anything that Hanager was one for six with five strikeouts. It's fine. That's it's a typo. It must be. Don't worry about it. It didn't happen. It's not a real thing. It did not happen. Holy crap. Flexen comes in. See? Then I move Flexen from the five spot to the long relief. And he goes four and a third scoreless and only scatters two hits. Oh, this game sometimes. This game sometimes. All right, so we took three there. All right, back down to earth. Back down to earth. But we're only nine wins away from not getting 100 losses. So, oh, back to Arizona. Back versus Arizona. No! Damn it. This guy was, oh, my God. Two of our guys just got raked. Oh, no. That's our leadoff hitter. <laughs> this, this team is brutal. This team is brutal. Well, it looks like Fraley's going to lead off in every situation necessary. Why? Because the season is lost. The season is lost. Good Lord. So Mike Ahmed goes down for two or three months. Dom T breaks his ankle. Probably walking down the freaking dugout stairs. Ugh. God forbid. And I got to bring up more people. I got to bring up more people. Um, That was a, a, an outfielder. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really don't want to bring up Kalnick, man. I really don't want to bring up Kalnick. Because I really don't even even want to like fake use an option for him. Like I don't trust the game to not use one of his options. Maybe Tramel. 
maybe Tremel. He already has an option, but I don't foresee Tremel being a guy. So we're going to bring up Taylor Tremel. I don't care if AAA has one guy less. Their season's about over. So who cares? Auto fix your lineups. Dude, we cannot just 5 of 6 against Arizona. Can we just play the D-backs the whole freaking time, please? That'd be incredible. Uh, Dunn's out for a couple games. Swanson. Oh, cool. 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 Let's keep piling on the injuries towards the end of the year, baby. Who cares? Just bring it on. Oh, my God, bro. What? Ugh. I don't want to bring up any of these dudes. I will bring up Seawald, even though he's not on the 40-man. Do I have spots in the 40-man? I do. So we're just going to add him to the 40-man, then bring him up to the majors. Because I can. Because I can. But now, AAA has six starters. I'm actually good there. I don't care. Like I said, their season's almost over, bro. Fix their rotation. Three with KC. We lose two or three. Dom T's not ready yet. Oakland. Yep, the Rainiers are out. Travelers did okay. Don't care. Another. Masters was already hurt this year. Now he's hurt again. Now he's hurt again. That's cool. All right, we have three against the Angels. And we have six games left against the Angels and three against the A's. And we need four wins to avoid a 100-loss season. Welp, it seems like 100 losses is going to be in our future. <laughs> we take two or three from Oakland. Last three games of the year, 61-98. This is our playoffs right here. We got to beat the Angels in the series. And they're 92-66. and 66, And I'm fairly certain that they have already clinched. What am I doing? Holy crap. Standings. Yes, they've already clinched. So it really doesn't matter. The Twins have... We'll check standings out at the end. I just wanted to see what they've clinched. We beat the Angels. We beat Otani. Okay. Okay. So Flexing comes back in. We beat them 4-1. to one. We, we need one win in our last two. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can we avoid 100 losses in our first horrible season? Let's go. We do. Small victories. Small victories, viewers. Small victories. 63 and 99. We take two of three from the AL West champion Angels to finish out the year and avoid, avoid the 100 loss the dreaded triple losses justice sheffield goes a complete game five hits doesn't walk anybody a great way to finish the year for him and that is how we're going to end and there's the bracket boston and cleveland spiders in the wild card angels yankees the twins await the wild card winner over in the uh the national league mets and padres with the doyers awaiting the winner cubs and atlanta um all right so we are gonna sim this a little bit and just kind of see what's going on here boston wins the wild card and then comes and beats the twins as well the hundred plus win or uh hundred plus law or win twins gets it in the first round and the red Sox and the yankees are in the alcs dodgers and cubs are in game six of the nlcs goodness we'll go look at the standings real quick which we should be able to do yeah just in case you were curious we'll kind of roll through real quick and you can pause it if you're trying to find somebody braves win the east the mets get a wild card cubs win the central card no, no one else finishes above 500 in that division brutal dodgers 109 wins padres get 99 um nationals finish a game behind phillies two behind for the second wild card Yankees win the East, Red Sox five behind, Twins 103 wins with the Cleveland Spiders, nine games back. So that's the standings. I will finish out this thing now. Boom, 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 boom. The Game 7. The NLCS goes to Game 7. Dodgers are triumphant. 
the World Series goes seven games, and the Los Angeles Doyers are the champions of 2021. Now, before we go do anything, let's go take a peek on how our creative players did. So if you have a creative player, um, or even if you don't, we are going to go take a peek. Oh, we're going to sort by potential because it makes it a lot easier. There should be two on the Cardinals. One is Pujols Jr. Uh, looks like he stayed in, in, in single A the whole entire year. But he is an A potential. He's only 18 years old. That's his improvements for year one. Just stellar across the board. Don't know if he'll make it into double A next year because he's still only a 55, but not a bad year from Mr. Poolhouse Jr. The other, we have four caps total. Michael Nutter is the uh, other one. He does not see an at bat the whole entire year. He is in double A, but did not see an at bat. So he did not improve drastically. That's probably why. Um, we have somebody on the Royals. And that is Jim Edmonds Jr. Oh, the stats went away. Yo. All right. So next time we have to, like the last day of the season, we have to go look at this because he had a full season of stats. For some reason, it went away. For some reason, it went away. Because I, I know that Jim Edmonds had a full season of stats. So that means Nutter did as well. Okay, so that's something to remember then. That's something to remember. Can I do a roster and go check? Nope. All the stats reset unless they're in the playoffs. Okay, so before the playoffs start, all of the uh, the stats go. So we can't look at stats. We can't look at stats. We have to do it a day before the regular season ends because once the playoffs hit, the stats reset. So that sucks. But we live and learn. We live and learn, right? We live and we freaking learn. Okay, and the last one was the Washington Nationals. And that was Mr. Tom Brenneman. Uh, a little bit of plus ones. He, he's only a B potential. Uh, didn't really get incredibly better. But that's that. Okay, so like I said, we are not going to start the offseason. That's going to be the whole entire video next episode we do have a bunch to figure out and a bunch to do we're probably not going to get better next year we're waiting on all these a and b potential guys to get better if we look through our actual team so let's sort by our top prospects julio got immensely better he he was in double a the whole entire year for some reason it kept his stats but i know nine games is not his stats so something went wonky Something went wonky. Plus three, plus four, plus four. Huge across the board, especially defensively. That's very good. So Julio gets better. Kelnick gained one of his two or one of his points on contact and power back. And he did okay as well. JP, I mean JP got better, but he's already up in the majors. But he's 77. And he probably gained three or four points this year. Wow. Uh, look at that defense too already stellar defense and he's getting way better good lord thank you game for making jp be good gilbert plus three hey i'll take that plus six to home runs per nine that's pretty nice probably one more year in triple a for gilbert kybert ruiz is it kybert or kybert i think it's kybert but i could be wrong one of our trade uh, a potential guys that we got got he got he he got okay Defense got a little better. His hitting, his actual contact and power stats didn't get impressively better. So he's probably not ready for the majors yet, but that's still promising. Shedlong, another guy just like JP. A potential in the game somehow. Um, and he is getting better. So Shedlong and JP, our guys up the middle, are A potentials and getting better still, which is great. Hancock, another one of our top prospects. Uh, on the rubber, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus four. I'll take it. George Kirby right behind him. Plus one, three, two, five. GGs. Kyle Lewis got a little. His power is still up there, which is fantastic. Justice Sheffield lost some home runs per nine, but that's okay. The rest of the stuff's going up. 
Nick Gonzalez, one of the guys that we got from the Pirates. Huge improvements, especially with that contact. Especially with that contact. I'll take it. Marte, our shortstop of the future, still needs a bunch of time, I think, to get that uh, uh, the hitting up. Quinn, the other Pirates, a potential guy that we got. Plus three, plus four, and plus twos. The rest are all B or lower. And we have a bunch of Bs, too. Watch it. A lot of young B guys as well. So not bad for the Mariners. We do not lose 100 games, which I will take that all day long. Um, we have the offseason coming up. We have another um, cap to add. So that'll be five caps total to put into the franchise. If you'd like to add a cap, go check out the Twitch stream. You can um, win it on the sub wheel or you can use your channel points to get a creative player into this franchise at the beginning of the next year. So all in all, not bad. Could have been better. The fact is we traded two of our guys that we probably were not going to re-sign and got three A potential prospects in the meantime. Can't get better than that. We don't lose 100 games. A lot of guys got better. Pretty much the start that I expected, 90-plus losses, but we're getting there. No free agent signings, realistic trades only. Yes, the Paxton for two AA potentials may not have been super realistic. What were the Pirates? Yeah, they're dead last, so that wasn't highly realistic for them to go trade two, two of their future pieces for Paxton, but hey. But hey, that's not up to me. That's what came up. So, y'all, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Next episode will be the off season where we will go through everything. We don't leave the auto to do any of our stuff. Um, I'm not going to show you every little thing. I'm not going to show, you know, me signing 40 of my minor leaguers to 90K contracts. I'll cut that out, of course, because that's pretty boring. But yeah, so we'll do that next, the off season. Go check out the description. Check out my Twitter. Check out my Twitch. Come hang out. We stream five nights a week or so on Twitch, um, playing MLB a majority of the time. I appreciate y'all. Hit the like. Hit the share. Hit the subscribe. Do all the good things. I love y'all. Nothing y'all can do about it. Come check me out. Have a wonderful day. Deuces.